I'd like to make some text bold in this document, so I'll use the type tool and simply select the text that I want, and then I'm going to uh, just press Command Shift B or Control Shift B on Windows. And everybody knows that makes it bold. If we look up here in the control panel, we can see that the style is now bold. But in this case, I didn't actually want bold. I wanted one of the other boldish styles, like, uh, well, why don't we say semi bold condensed? How about that? Bold semi condensed, something like that. I like that very much, and I would like to use that from now on in this document. And every time I press Command Shift B, I want it to apply that, not the regular bold style. Can I do that? Well, because I'm using Blantner tools, I can. Here's how you do it. First, I need a character style. So I'll open the character styles panel, and I'll make myself a new character style. You can see that I already have bold, italic, and underline in this document. But in this case, I'm going to create a new style by Option or Alt clicking on that new style button. That opens the new character style dialog box, and I'll just give it uh, my style name. I'm going to call it my happy new bold style. You can, of course, call it anything you want. But in this case, I'm going to name it that, and we can see that it's going to apply the bold semi-condensed. It just picked that styling up from, uh, from the text that I had already selected. This is all normal, standard InDesign, nothing special here. And we can also see that InDesign even lets us apply a short cut to that. The problem is, if I click in here and try and type something like the Command Shift B, it just beeps at me. It says, oh, you can't do that. Why? Because InDesign only lets you apply numeric keypad shortcuts to these styles. Is that crazy? That's totally crazy. I hate that. I want to apply my own keyboard shortcut, no matter what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that blank, turn on Apply Style to Selection in this case, click OK, and you can see that it applied that style, my happy new bold style, to that text. But now, next time I want to use that, I want to use a keyboard shortcut, my keyboard shortcut. How do I do that? Here's the trick. Right click or control click with a one button mouse and choose the assigned to Blattner Tools menu item from the context menu. And you can see here that you have 10 different slots in which to fill, 10 different character styles that you can apply keyboard shortcuts to. I'll just go ahead and apply this to number one. So I'll click one and it opens up the assign keyboard shortcut dialog box. It's just a little fast way to assign my own keyboard shortcut. Let's say it's going to be uh, control shift. Uh, W. I don't know. Let's just I'm just picking a random uh, keyboard shortcut here, and you can see that it says it's unassigned down there. Oh, but I wanted Command Shift B, right? Will it even let me do that? Let's try it. Yes, it will. In fact, you can see that it says Command Shift B is currently assigned to Apply Bold. So if I go ahead and say Apply, it'll take it off of that and assign it instead to my happy new bold style. Now, I cannot edit my default set. So I've created my own new set, and I will apply it here. And you can see that it's assigned. I'll go ahead and click Apply Shortcut, and now I'm good to go. Let's try it out. I'm going to select some more text over here on this side, and I will try the keyboard shortcut. I'm not even getting close to the character styles panel there. I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcut, Command Shift B, and you can see it did it. As soon as I hit the keyboard shortcut, it applied the character style for me. So that's very handy. Now, is this just character styles? No, not at all. Blantner Tools lets you assign keyboard shortcuts to character styles, paragraph styles, any of these paragraph styles in here, uh, table styles, object styles even swatches. Check this out. Let's say I wanted to assign a color, maybe this super green color, to some text or anything when I hit a keyboard shortcut. Can I do that? I'll try it out here. Let's go ahead and um, I'm going to just select some text there, try it with text first. I'll right click or control click with, with a one button mouse, right click on it on the color that I want to assign to the menu. And again, I have 10 different slots, 10 different colors I can fit in here. I'll just use number one here. And I'm going to say, uh, go ahead and assign the Control Shift G to that uh, in David's set. All right, let's go ahead and apply shortcut. Again, you can use any keyboard shortcut you want. Control Shift G, let's try it out. Oh, I, I'll move my cursor away just to prove that I'm nowhere near the swatches panel. Control Shift G and Boom, it changed it to that color. Let's try it with a frame. I'll choose this text frame up here, and I'm going to fill that with my color without even looking at the swatches panel. I'll even close the swatches panel, not even close to it. Command Shift G now assigns that fill to this uh, to this frame. So that's pretty cool. Now it's so so I've talked about styles, I've talked about 
swatches and 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 yet there's more but wait there's more we can also do it to layers we can assign keyboard shortcuts to layers as well so for example i happen to know that this text frame down here is on the wrong layer it's on the artwork layer i really wish it were on the text layer but i don't want to have to drag that little proxy up to text every single time i want to put something on the text layer so i'll right click on text i'll say assign it to uh, let's say layer number seven I mean, you can just pick any one you want and assign a keyboard shortcut to it i'll just try something uh, that i know is not assigned to anything else right now Control shift t uh, and click apply shortcut and let's try it out Ready? Not close to the Layers panel. Control-Shift-T, whatever the keyboard shortcut was, boom, it did it. It moved it up to that layer. So keyboard shortcuts let you move stuff to layers or even just select layers if nothing is uh, selected on your page. So layers, swatches, paragraph styles, character styles, if you can right-click on it, then you can assign a keyboard shortcut to it. And Blantner Tools helps you keep your hands on the keyboard so you can really supercharge your productivity. Blattner Tools from DTPTools.com, making InDesign even better.